welcome to the first episode of Appalachia or Replica. To start this series off, I want to tell you a story about a creature that was often seen back in the mountains. Something that nobody really knew what it was, nor where it came from. A creature so strange that it whistled and laughed. Folks called it the Whistling Jack. Now, folks back in these old hills, they knew just about every animal that was native to the area. Habits, noises it made, things like that yeah, where folks had to hunt back then to put food on the table. So they always knowed what was fit for eating and what weren't. That was what was so strange about the Whistling Jack. It's just like they just showed up one day. Folks didn't know nothing about it. And as they described it as around, I'm guessing about three feet high. Cause the way they put it, said it was about hip high to a man. It said it had a real shaggy, dingy, white type of fur. It said it had a big old head that was similar to a goat or a ram. Now, the first of my kin to see one was my great-great-uncle. Said he was walking home from the neighbors. And he saw what he thought was one of his old sows a rooting around in the dirt. Said he thought, boy, that old pig got out again. So he walked up there to it and rushed over and slapped it on the hill and yelled, Get on! Said he jumped up. Then he realized what he was in front of. Something completely unknown to the hills. Said he just stood there in pure awe. Said he took off into the woods and turned around and let out a laugh. And that really threw him for a loop. Still standing, just dumbfounded. He just stared. But then it took off running. He said it was almost as fast as a horse. And as it took off, he said it threw its head back and whistled. He said he went home and told everybody about what he'd just seen. He said some folks thought he was pulling her leg. He said, no, I ain't joshing you. I seen it. Soon it weren't long till a neighbor's wife and daughter was walking home from preaching. And it was getting about dusky dark. And off in the wood line, they heard something else a walking. Like it was following them. They became nervous. So when they would stop, it would too. When they suspected it was somebody up to no good, they decided to hurry up and run to an old-timer's house that was just up the road of mine. See, when they would speed up, so would it. it said soon, they started whistling at them. It said as soon as they shrieked, it started laughing. In a panic, they started to run. They said that old thing cut loose too. Then they took off for running, snapping at tree limbs and twigs and sticks. They run through briar thickets like it weren't nothing. They well, said that old feller heard them a screaming. They run out on his porch with a shotgun. 
as they run up the path to his house. It came out of the edge of the wood line. And he fired at it, scared off. But it didn't flinch. So it just threw its head back and laughed. And whistled as it shot back into the woods. Well, after that, the word spread like wildfire. And more and more started seeing it. Different areas. It almost became a type of a panic. One fella said he was hunting. Said one up and charged him. Oh. So he fired. Said he knows he hit it. But again, it just laughed and ran off. There's also a lot of reports. They said late at night. You know, back then there weren't no TVs or radios to be playing all night or anything like that, so. The only thing you heard was sounds of nature. So there's many reports. Said people be laying in bed. And you'd hear them outside your window. Rustling around. A time or two they'd headbutt the house and laugh and whistle. Or other times, a few reports said that They'd be laying in bed. And they'd start out a whistling off in the distance. And people would hear that. If anybody shrieked, they'd start laughing. Well, soon folks at prayer meetings and get togethers and things like that started trying to figure out just what it was. Well, everybody had their theories. And but nobody really knew. Well, soon a lot of the older folks got together and decided to go see the old witch. So they loaded up and took off. It rolled about a half a day back in the mountains to get to her cabin. So when they got there, they should come out and stand there talking to them. They told him what was going on. Said she already knowed about them. Said when they asked her, said she just looked at him and said, Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Just leave it be. Now, from what I gathered, it never hurt nobody. But the odd thing was, they said whenever they'd be like a calf or a piglet or something like that was born, said for a few days they'd have to stay up at night. Said they'd have to stay up and build a great big old fire outside next to the pens and keep throwing gunpowder in it to keep it from taking them. Nobody knew just exactly how many of them they were. But they were seen multiple times in multiple areas and counties. But I reckon they traveled by themselves, not in a herd. As far as I know, all the stories I've heard, you never seen any of them even together. It's just kind of odd. Then one day, folks got to noticing there just hadn't been any reports of anybody seeing one. And just like that, the whistling jack was gone. But left behind many a question for the generations to come. Well, now that just goes to show you never know what you'll come across here in the Appalachians. Well, I appreciate you folks for coming by and hanging out with me. Mighty glad to see you. Join me again next time for another episode of Appalachia or Ripper Cup.